Hello everyone, welcome back to Flight Sim 2020, where I'm going to take a look at the newly released Osprey from Miltech Simulations in cooperation with Mariadi, who is the actual developer of the aircraft, and is available from Orbix, and it has a few caveats to it as far as the flight dynamics, because it is a unique plane with unique flight dynamics, and I'm sort of hoping that it is reasonably dangerous to fly, we'll see. Uh, because the real plane is a, is a little bit of a trick to fly sometimes. And there are eight liveries, as you can see here. I'm going to go with the Japanese Ground Self-Defense Force livery there. And I've topped it off with fuel. So we are just going to take it out at Miramar and see how it goes. Now, I still have to map the controls for the tilt rotor. So I'll do that. And... So what it says about the flight dynamics is it's a custom flight dynamics, including realistic behavior of the aircraft during movement of engine nacelles, so that should be interesting, fully simulation vortex ring state, dangerous aerodynamic stall con condition that results in an uncontrollable descent of the aircraft. I, I like the sound of that. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm here for the failures. I mean, I don't pay for things to go smoothly. Uh, accurate simulation of the gearing system connecting both prop rotors, allowing for one engine operation at reduced performance, which is a heck of a thing, really. And edge engine overstress limitations as per the real aircraft. So engines cannot sustain full throttle for long periods of time. So important notes, it says, nacelles are operated using increased cow flap 4 and increased cow flap, uh, decreased cow, cow flap 4. Okay, so we will map those. I uh, didn't have it at daylight. So, let's get the controls. So there's like a helicopter. We were in the right seat. Interesting. Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll just go with that. And decrease scale flap four. Yeah, I have other things to use for that. All right. Other caveats: MFS, MSFS assistant settings must be set to true to life, and the flight model modern. And I have that. The only thing I have on the difficulty settings that are different is that I have the taxi ribbon. That's it. Uh, vortex ring state and engine limitations can be deactivated through CDU menu stuff and do not pause the simulator if nacelles are in a position different than zero degrees which is an interesting caveat isn't it um, well this is different than zero degrees let's see um, oh okay it's continuous you have to hold down the button okay so if I hold down the button it works all right and the flaps are independent well, I can't tell right now, apparently. Okay, maybe they're not independent. Master alert. Well, that's a good start. Okay. Autopilot works best in airplane mode. Then, so that is zero degrees. And, all right. Well, let's go with it. Well, that's a different sound, all right. That's, well, we're up. <laughs> oh, no, we're not. Okay, I just reduced the throttle a little bit, and we were not anymore. Okay. Oh, there's another aircraft there. That uh, That's inconvenient. All right, F-14. That's the gear. Oh, gear animation's nice. That's an interesting way to tuck in, too. Okay, the flaps, I think, auto-flap, because I did not reduce the flaps. Okay, well, we better get horizontal. One hundred and eighty knots already, though. Uh, we better crawl down. Okay, we have successfully transitioned. Let's see, 
Can we see? There it is. The rotor blades. Prop rotors. Let's see. The seat looks like that. Nice big windows. Jump seat. I'm not going to go through all the functionality. I'm mostly interested if I can land it again. It does have some interesting fiddly bits. Yeah, definitely auto flaps. Alright, well let's try and hover around. It does have this little jerk when I first start tilting the thing. Which is interesting. Our airspeed is still pretty high considering I even throttled down. It's like it goes into a mode where the engines are more powerful. Now of course in the whole hovering department this has some competitors. There's the stock Halo Pelican, which uh, you know, I'll reveal about that. It certainly can go into hover mode and then go into horizontal flight mode. And then there's the F-35 that's available. And the F-35 is interesting. I mean, it's probably the one I'd pick for sightseeing. But this has more charm if you're role-playing a mission. Also, the transition between uh, modes with the F-35 is a little bit jerkier than it is with this. After all, this is just tilting the rotors. With the F-35, you're opening the, the intake at the top of the aircraft and all that business. I don't need that much throttle in order to potentially hover, I think. Well, I want to get into a proper hover here. Well, we're going backwards, that's no good. Not all things that can sort of hover like to go backwards. This seems okay with it. I mean, it's, it's good enough as far as hovering is concerned. It's probably... Probably the best hover I've done in Flight Sim so far. <laughs> I, I think I did uh, go with one of those freeware helicopters and landed in a stadium, so... Probably the hovering wasn't too bad there, but this, this is pretty stable. is doing remarkably well. If you are at all interested in hovering, this is probably the way to, and it did auto flap again. I don't know what the rules for it auto flapping are. Alright, let's uh, transition a bit. Uh, I can lose altitude pretty quickly as we're transitioning if we're not going fast enough. Now it's okay. I guess... Developers don't get to... it has a jerk. I wonder if I should... So here, there's a point where it says snaps in and then snaps out when I tilt it up. I'm gonna keep it in the snap out mode just for interest. Okay, well, we have nav. That's what the flur thing brings up. Well, there's a lot of crossed out things. Pull stow. Oh, those are the positions for the rotor. So if you want to control the system and fold everything up, you can use that. 
probably not good to do that in flight. There are some carriers available from Miltech Sim, but I decided not to get it because they require you to turn off collision or crash detection, and that's against my flight sim religion. <laughs> so um, we must have crash detection. That's important. I also don't use time warp in the game. That is also against my flight sim religion. It'd be nice to have functioning carriers maybe as a bonus in the 40th anniversary thing flight sim developers Asobo, Microsoft, anybody you know you gave us the oh it's a little bit choppy still you gave us the Top Gun thing and the carrier landing challenge there but we didn't actually get carriers I mean I have carriers here but that's because of a mod that I can't land on them and the best we can do is these uh, things by Miltech Sim and others. There are some freeware carriers where you have to disable crash detection in order to land on them. Or they suggest that anyway. Maybe I should get one and see if it really is necessary or not. But it probably is if they say so. I had a model of the Osprey. It was sort of hard to keep the rotors from breaking the a plastic model and you can imagine oh that carrier is a little bit blocky isn't it <laughs> oh well that's a freeware thing oh no i think that might be the is that supposed to be the photogrammetry i don't know it's sort of acting like photogrammetry Okay, well, let, let, let's quickly throw all down and transition and see if we can land over here. I'm deliberately doing inadvisable things with it. It's not acting too horribly with it. It's, it's, it's much tamer than I thought it would be. Somewhat disappointing in that, but... Yeah, I did a very harsh maneuver with it there, and it doesn't mount mine. But then again, it's a military plane, so the yaw is very strong. You can easily yaw with it. Oh, okay, okay. It didn't like me insulting it, I think. <laughs> Okay. No, no, you're 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 wild. You're frisky. Don't worry. I didn't mean to say that you were tame. I mean, virtual hover right now. I mean, we can probably bring that vertical speed down. Did I try and land on top of the building? I yawed quite strongly there. And Lee. Come on, Osprey. I wish it was like a helipad somewhere. Uh, oh, okay, I wasn't that gentle. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. It's not happy. It's not happy. Oh. Okay. I, I, I didn't think I landed on the edge there. Well, they, they put collision detection on that building. <laughs> all right, all right. So uh, there you have it. My first, my, my first try with the Osprey. I didn't do any other flights beforehand with it. It was my first taste of flying it, and uh, interesting. I think to be fully satisfied, I really need to push it to its limits, 
and see where it's finally going to get these dangerous situations that were mentioned. I'm not satisfied that I've really put it through its paces yet. Uh, so we will see further testing with the Osprey. But for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you next time.